Hi, my name is Dave Laird. I'm a master plumber in Toronto. And I just want to warn you about something that's I've noticed in the last little while. It's called CPVC. It's this kind of pipe. It's hard, it's rigid. And um, I found it's been installed in a number of houses in the area. And uh, the problem with it, it gets very brittle from, uh, I suppose, the chlorine in the water. And in the last two days, I've had at least two calls where it's broken and flooded the basement. And in another case, the elbow broke and it was leaking all over the floor also. The last one I was at, there was probably um, $40,000, $50,000 worth of damage. It's, it's been approved by the authorities and you can use it, but a lot of times the manufacturers lobby the, um, uh, the, the people that write the code and then uh, they get the stuff put in. Like that was the same with Kitech Pipe, which is one of the largest lawsuits in um, North America. And in this particular case, this pipe is only like 15 years old and um, it's so brittle. If you take a pair of pliers, you can, it just shatters. And the poor lady just pulled her her hose um, in her garage and she pulled the pipe right off um, in, the, um, in the house and it flooded the basement. So if you've got this pipe, well, you better lawyer up because uh, it's going to give you a lot of problems and there's already some lawsuits going on in the United States. I haven't noticed any up here, but I'd be very, very careful and wary. And if you're another plumber and, and you don't know that this is installed in the house and you go to tighten up a, a valve or something on a toilet, bingo, you're liable to have a big flood yourself and then you'll be liable. So I'd say be very, very careful. Okay, thanks, bye. I'm going to show you some pictures on my computer that I've taken of these disasters and um, this is uh, you can see how it's shattered on this particular one uh, this is how it pulled apart and this is some of the damage that's being done in the house you can see the, the whole basement's being flooded and this is this is where it pulled apart right there that's the line that goes out to the uh, garage that the poor lady pulled on with the hose and it was gone so you're you're going to have to get it repiped if you've got it and i would imagine there's going to be problems from insurance companies and um in the future if there's going to be a lot of problems with this stuff so be warned and be careful thanks bye